Here we are uh, backstage at Largo the Cornet. Uh, kind of a, a grassroots feeling uh, for theater. Molly, how do you, what do you think about so far your experience? I'm loving it, you know? Mm -hmm. Everyone's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Have suitable. you memorized all your lines? No, no, I have. I've, That's I've, fair. I've we can read not. them. We actually get to hold our scripts. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I didn't want to. Why didn't you tell me I that was earlier? Give, I was I stressed. Told you how many lines I have, Nathan? Yeah, I know. You had a lot of lines. God, man. Yeah. The reason why we get to hold our scripts in our hand is because... It's like an old-timey radio show, right? Right. No one's actually oh. going to see this. They're only going to hear it. But there are people in the audience. Well, we, yes, we do have a live studio That's audience. That's why I dress that up. That actually That's... sweetens the laughter for the podcast. Oh, so all this is done in order for the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people will listen oh, okay. to this mm -hmm. later on. Um, the only, I think, disadvantage to only listening to it, when you're listening to it, you get to laugh at all the jokes that you hear on stage, but also there will be times when you don't hear anything, but you hear people laughing, so you know something's going on on stage that you obviously can't see. Oh, so it makes people jealous. Like, man, we should really it go to the show. It creates and enrages our audience. Oh, that's great. Part of the thrill of the I, Thrilling Adventure Hour. Part of the thrill of the Thrilling Adventure Hour. I think I just said that. Well, I said it better. True.